Hi, I'm Dr. Q from DrQuestin.com. I have a rather unusual question to answer today, which is how to treat two conditions, bloating and farting, in dogs. Well, these are actually two very separate conditions, so we'll start with the easier one first, which is farting in dogs. Really, all that is is gas buildup in the intestinal tract when your dog doesn't have the appropriate bacteria in the intestines to break down the foods. This can occur with a food change or if your dog switches to something different that they're not used to having, then they don't possibly have the bacteria in the intestinal tract that they need to break down that food. And when that occurs, gas builds up, which you get to experience as farting from your dog. Not really a problem at all, uh, just a little bit unpleasant to tolerate. So the best thing to do is, first of all, don't change your dog's diet unless you absolutely have to. And if you still are having problems with gas in your dog, then a simple natural supplement like a probiotic can really help minimize the secondary effects of gas in the intestinal tract. Probiotics are just simply like the acidophilus in yogurt. And these are supplements that you can pick up from your veterinarian or from your local pet store. And they're very safe and effective and really help minimize the secondary effects of gas in your dog's intestinal tract. Now, bloating is something entirely different. That's actually a life-threatening disease that can occur in big dogs like sushi here. And it's something that you definitely want to feed your dog appropriately to help minimize their chances of succumbing to bloat. Again, a high quality diet is very important. Uh, the other thing is feeding small, frequent feedings. Uh, minimize your dog's chance of having bloat by feeding them small meals throughout the day rather than having one large meal. Also, make sure your dog doesn't eat that meal too quickly. You can either buy special fancy bowls that are specially designed to help make sure that your dog doesn't eat too quickly, or you can just save a little money and do what I do sometimes and just put your dog's food in a muffin tin like this. It takes him a few minutes to get the food out of each one of the little holes and kind of slows him down and buys you a little bit of time and doesn't cost you a whole lot of money either. Uh, the last thing about bloat is to really minimize your dog's activity after meals. So after feeding time is definitely the time to go lay in the crate or lay on their bed and just have a little siesta, a little time out so that they can just rest and digest and really minimize their chances of having any kind of digestive upset. So hopefully I've answered some questions today about two very different but interesting problems that we have with our dogs, farting and bloating. Uh, and on that note, I'm Dr. Q, and the rest is up to you. Thanks for tuning in today.